I just send this out from uh, Nashville, Tennessee, all the way to Renfro Valley, and all the way up here to JD Legends. Uh, I've had some questions about my heritage, and so I wanted to explain how diverse my family truly is to a lot of the uh, trumped up questions that I face. My grandpa was James Donaldson, and his wife was Francis Smith, and they lived in Knoxville, Tennessee. They also lived in Crab Orchard, Tennessee, and received a letter from Private Roy E. Smith from the United States military during the campaign that they now refer to as the Normandy Invasion, where 500 soldiers were lost, 500,000 soldiers. A letter came from my mother's birthday to Crab Orchard, Tennessee, to my grandpa, and this is what it read. Jack, thought I'd write to you a few lines. Tonight, while laying around in my pup tent, trying to pass away the time, because one day seems like a week over here. No place to go and nothing to do. Well, Jack, how are things with you? Pretty good, I hope. How are you standing with the draft board now? From what I hear, they're about to quit drafting anybody now. Say, Jack, how's your baby? And why? Fine, I hope. I guess it's welcome, and how your baby? Well, I sure would like to come back there for a while. This damn country here, they could take it and give it to the Indians for all I care. If I had a farm here and a home in hell, I'd sell my farm and go home. That's how well I like it. I don't think there was ever anything here sour water and alcohol which can make you blind or kill you well I will close up for tonight as it's getting bedtime just any place on the ground is my bed see you soon your friend Roy E. Smith P.S. I don't guess you can read this the last I ever heard of a man. My grandma told me that story and gave me this letter because she knew how much I loved history and how much uh, I appreciate the things that people do like Private Roy E. Smith. ACM 2488-3333 Casual Company 337 Infantry, AP 085, Terra Postmaster, New York, New York, March the 2nd, 1944, 92 days before the Normandy invasion. And like I said, 500,000 people died so that we can be America. We can have our liberty. We can have our freedom, and we can be here tonight to celebrate at the Grand Old Opry or any other stage and reflect on songs like Alan Jackson's song, Where Were You? I can remember where I was, and I'll save that story. We all need to reflect on what's going on in the world. And I know that Alan Jackson is suffering from a degenerative nerve disease. And I hope he gets the best of care, like we all should. But it still doesn't hurt to help people understand the diseases that are out there. 
and to use platforms like yours to invoke crowdfunding through what I like to call the ALS War Zone. Ain't nothing big. Just little stands. Maybe a few church members volunteer to come to the events. Pass out literature to help people like the ones attached in my county. And have it set up to where they can donate or give them the information how to get to places like redcross.org or als.org. And we can do special things like we're done down in New Orleans for the football player Steve who suffered through ALS. And Mr. Gleason and his family started a project down there called the Lazarus Project. And they took some initiative to build uh, better children by educating them, better families by educating them on the importance of things, like knowing the avenues that are out there for the government to help us that are there for that very reason. Never be ashamed because soldiers have fought and died to provide a government that reaches its hand out to help people to help them during their dire time. We can take things like wheelchairs and medicines uh, and help educate people on how to get them be efficient about it. And we can stop wasting tax money on frivolous things and start making uh, people more aware of how to be invested in tomorrow's future. 